This is why you are always needy with men. This is the reason why you suffer. And I'm here with Coach Isabel because we want to tell you how to stop thinking that you will fix a guy, change his mind, make him want to be in a relationship, and you are always losing yourself. Coach mm -hmm. Isabel, this is something very important, right? Yes, it is. You, you mentioned that the wanting to fix somebody else. Yes. As we both know, it really doesn't work, <laughs> does it? <laughs> but why is it something that <clears throat> women will do all the time? You know, I've seen this situation, Alex, he, you know, he has this drinking alcohol. He told me that he was just got getting divorced, so he needs to oh, rebuild yeah. himself. I will give him my best. Yeah. He doesn't want to commit to the relationship. Always of this situation, but this still, you still lady wants to fix him. So you're losing yourself in a sense. Yeah. What's going on? I, I wish I had the correct <laughs> answer. That's a very deep question. Why do we think that we can fix somebody who's just been through a breakup? Who's just who is what did you say addicted to, yeah, something. addicted to something and I guess some of it is that we have an idealization in our minds mm -hmm. we don't even realize that ladies we don't realize that we're acting upon all those idealizations all those beliefs that we have that we actually are capable of fixing another human we don't have that power sadly we don't but we, somehow we believe that we do mm -hmm. right so and and we also are very um emotional we have feelings we have empathy a lot of empathy a lot of nurturing and i think that's built in so we can be good good mothers right the nurturing aspect is in every woman if she's a mother or not so we want to nurture this this man who started to to drink or do drugs or is in a is not really respecting me but i know i can have empathy for him and and love him so much that he will change and be yeah. better so we have this ideal image in our mind that we can actually accomplish that why <laughs> i don't where it's coming from i don't know i guess years and years of of being taught that that we're here to help that we're mm. here to serve that we're in the background that we're you know it's mm. selfish to think of yourself so we serve and we help and somehow we believe that if i love him enough he will change yes i understand and there's something that i've seen also in my situation is that in the beginning, everything is perfect. You know, mm. in the beginning, you don't see, I would say, the flaws of someone or his addiction yeah. or the problem. Because even if you meet someone that just got separated, divorced, the beginning of the relationship, he will be so secure with himself. He will be so sure that he wants to be with you. And so you would be, ladies, attached to the very beginning of the attraction mm. or the date or the relationship. Even if the next like few months or years are difficult, you will be in mm. having in mind the first few weeks of fairy tale when you are mm. living the dream. So when we are in this case and we want to stop trying to fix people, mm. we want to stop giving too much, my recommendation to you would be to focus on what does it do for me? Simple mm. question. Good question. Yeah, because I've seen this question with a lot of yeah. clients. When you start to tell me nothing, hmm. then you start to realize there is something wrong. Yeah. So do you have another idea, Isabel? What can you do or what can you tell women to feel better when they want to stop fixing someone, giving too much or mm. wait for someone to realize their value? What can they do? So first it starts with awareness. Yes. And when you when you mentioned, like when you asked them, what does he do for you? That's starting uh, an awareness mindset, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't change anything, ladies, if you're not aware of the problem. Mm -hmm. So think and be aware of what is he doing for me? Is he treating me right? Is he respecting me? Is he valuing me? And that takes some time. So take your time to sit down and think about this. Take a walk, talk to a friend, talk to us and, and do an uh, inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Do an inventory of what is really happening in this relationship. Do I feel valued? Do I feel respected? Is he giving as much as I'm giving? That's the first point you have to be aware. Mm -hmm. And then you might notice as in the situation you brought up that there's an imbalance. Yeah. So first you have to see it and you might not want to see it right? with, with coach ladies like that. Yes. You don't want to see it. You're like, oh, no, no, everything's fine. I'm loving. I love him so much. Yeah. I respect him so much. I want I, I know we have a good relationship because the beginning was so beautiful. Oh, deep breath, right? Mm. Yes, you had that good beginning, but now things are not the same. So you need to sit with that realization and it hurts. 
it hurts, right? I, res I respect that, I acknowledge that hurt. It hurts to acknowledge that it's, there's a problem, that there's an imbalance. So that's the first step. Mm -hmm. And your next question was, how, so, what can we do? Yeah, basically because, you know, to, to rebond on what you're just saying here is very good exercises, ladies. So you need to take some notes. You yeah. will feel much better. You will yeah. control your emotion. You will stop thinking that there is no other solution. What oh, we are giving you right always. now is opportunities. Always. It's very important. Yeah. So now that you know that, ladies, I am sure that you will mm -hmm. empower yourself. You will feel more confident and you will know how to react. Based on this, I want to make them know that basically they can have a better situation or they can trust themselves for the future. So how can they stop completely just basically giving too much and forgetting about themselves. So that's really a tough thing to do for us women to stop something that we're so used to doing. And as you know, our our brain tells us like what, the old beliefs that we have, we function subconsciously out of those old beliefs. So you need to be aware again of that old belief. I need to do, do, do for him to, to respect me. I need to give, give, give. Be aware of that old belief and then slowly change it and put some new beliefs in like, I am worthy of respect. I am worthy of giving myself some time. I am worthy of trying something new in my life. I am worthy. And that's allowing yourself, or like you said, to start something new, right? Allow yourself to uh, put in an activity in your life, a passion that you've had possibly in the past or something completely new. Allow yourself to, to be adventurous and to allow something new in your life that you know will challenge you and fulfill you. And so, Isabel, because this is so important, ladies, we can shift your mindset. Yes. So I want to start it right now, okay? Right I now. I cut you off because I want you to leave a comment just right below. <laughs> Tell us exactly what will be the first new activity. Yes. How will you bring this positivity in your life? Because I can guarantee you this first step, you will see basically the end goal. You will see what you can bring to your and even his life. That will be okay once you know that you have some value here. So leave a comment and you can also smash the like, smash button. The like button. This is okay too. <laughs> and subscribe yeah. to the YouTube channel so you receive all the videos directly in your inbox. Sorry, so I yeah. cut you off. That's okay. I want to give an example of a lady yeah, sure. um, I coach to realize that her husband didn't like the same activities that she did. And that's a little difficult sometimes as long as you have some activities that you like together. But it's it's normal that we have different interests, like that a couple has different interests. So her thing was she really missed the outdoor activities. She grew up in a, in a fishing, hunting family and her spouse could care less about those activities, mm -hmm. but she missed it. Yeah. It's part of her and she needed to allow herself to get back to that. So she took her children and did that, but it filled her up. It was something that she was missing and sometimes you, you need to realize your partner cannot fulfill that. Mm -hmm. As long as you have some things that you do together, right? Well, you're, you're very big on having a common project, right? For yes. couples, that's a good topic too. You have to have something that connects you that you have as a common goal in your partnership. But it's, it's also healthy and helpful to have something that you like, that you miss, that you want to have in your life and to implement that and not feel guilty. That's another topic. <laughs> we will talk about that in another video. But what yeah. I love about what you're saying here is that the best way to stop fixing men, the best way to stop being only the one that makes the effort, the best yeah. way to not push back your happiness, because I've seen so many women mm. who tell me, I wait, I wait, I wait. But Albert Einstein, just mentioned that foolishness is doing the same thing over, over and, and over, over and waiting for a different result. Different result. So what you mentioned is allow you ladies to start building your own dream, mm. doing the things you love, bringing some positive energy. Yes. And I can tell you as a relationship coach and as a man that when you do that, mm. we change our mindset. We are not here playing the, oh, I don't know what I want. Oh, please fix me. We will stop all the addiction because we know that we can lose an amazing person. But if you're here just to solve her, uh, sorry, if you're here, I will open that. Yeah. So if you're here and just to solve us, what will happen? We will think that we can continue what we want because mm -hmm. you're still here. And by changing that with these new activities, this goal, 
this dream that you have and mm -hmm. just doing the first step to reach them that would be amazing like this that would be something that would change you i want to ask them something did you hear what he said did you hear what he just said ladies he <laughs> said if you change your mindset if yeah. you do something for yourself his the mindset will change did you hear that that's a big aha moment you can you can't talk him into, oh, please do this with me. Oh, please do that. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh I need this from you. But that, that'll just annoy you and, and you'll exactly. like run. That's, that never works. The annoying, nagging, it never works. We, we don't like that. Nobody likes that. But what he said, and I hope you heard it, and I'll say it again. If you do things for yourself and you fill yourself up with things that make you happy and you change your mindset, his mindset changes. So... I guess you can change a man if you do something for yourself. <laughs> I think that's exactly what, you know what happened to one of the person I was coaching and that's why I come up with the drinking problem because mm. she was in a relationship with a man that oh unfortunately was yeah. addicted to alcohol. Yes, and bad. she was talking to him and she begged him to yeah. go see someone, find help. And he was saying, no, I don't have any problem. Yeah. You are the problem because mm. you harass me, because you ask me a lot of questions. Yeah, it's so, so annoying. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> she started to feel guilty for that. Yes. And I told her, you know what? It's very easy. The yeah. moment he will see you going out in yeah. a nice dress, yeah. enjoying with your friends or do things like you want. And of course, she wanted to dance salsa. So I was like, this is Yay. perfect. Thanks, God. But what happened is this. When she was able to do that, a mm -hmm. couple of weeks after, he asked her to go out. He started to see someone for her, for his drinking alcohol problem. Oh, good. Because he realized that he could lose her. Yeah. Which changed. Wake up call. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it's not always a positive outcome because addictions can can be detrimental. But no. in this case, it was a positive outcome. For sure. And even if he hadn't changed, it would have been healthy for her to do what you told her to do, even yes. if he doesn't. Yeah. So it doesn't change for everyone. Yeah. But yeah. what I see is that men will react the moment yeah. they They're realize afraid. that they can lose you yeah. and they realize that you, they are afraid and they realize that they need to step up, step up. for you. And yeah. that's where we do. That's how we prove of love. <clears throat> we want to step up the moment you need us. Yes, that's good to know, ladies. They want to <laughs> prove themselves to you <laughs> by yeah. stepping up. So let them challenge them. Let them step up. Make it a little harder. So do you have any other tip about the situation of how do I stop trying to fix him and I just start giving me? All right. So again, it comes back to making a decision. Okay. Right? Because women sometimes are like in indecision and uh, should I really, should I not? Uh, this is hard. <laughs> yes, it is, ladies. It's hard. We know that it's hard. That's why we're here because we like to help you. That's our passion. So what was I going to say? Make a decision. Be intentional. Be very intentional every morning. I do something for myself. This is a good day. I will grow. I uh, use affirmations. I'm, I'm good with affirmations. Mm -hmm. You need to tell yourself. What is your most favorite affirmation? <laughs> I want to hear. What did, what did you tell yourself this morning? I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm worthy. Ooh. I'm loved. I'm secure. I'm safe. That's just a few of them. Loved is a good one. Yeah, secure. I love yeah. it. I love it. I'm yeah. powerful. Because life it. is not easy. Yeah. So I'm strong. That's a good one because then you grow into it because life throws you curveballs all the time mm -hmm. and you need to know that you can handle them. So that's another one. Actually, I can handle what life throws at me and you know what I'm going through yeah. right now. It's a lot. So that's a good affirmation. I can handle what life throws at me. And I love what you mentioned and I want to tell you something, ladies. So, you know, one day I was doing a speech in France and a woman came to me and she said, yeah, Alex, you're right. It is difficult. Yeah. You know, like life is difficult. Yes. And I said, yeah. and she told me, but it is most difficult to stay in my shit than to change. <laughs> and I love, I love that, it. I love it, I love right? It. And she's <laughs> right. When it you is. know that you're suffering, <clears throat> you have no other option yeah. than to suffer the rest of your life. Yes, that's Unless harder. you make a decision, it that's is harder. hard. Yeah. But at least you have opportunities. So ladies, yeah. you have to become yeah. this French woman that I, I just made in this speech. And you just had an affirmation. I don't know if you caught it. It is hard and I can keep going. That's yeah. actually one I like to give my clients all the time. It is hard. Acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah, this is hard. Growth is hard. Starting a new mindset is hard. Making an intentional decision is hard. 
showing up different in your life is hard, especially if you're used to not doing that. Yeah. So yes, that's a new affirmation that Alex just told you. It is hard and I can keep going. I can handle it. So ladies, you have to comment with this affirmation. Yes. Smash the like button, subscribe, we need your support. <clears throat> Yes, and if you. you like this video, what we will do is just include in the description box the link for the coaching page. Mm. You will see Coach Isabel is here for you. She's amazing. She will definitely help you deep inside with yourself, but yes. also with your love life. Yeah. I'm still here. I'm still your best friend. <laughs> but if you want to work further on yourself, I know that Isabel has a lot of tools also to offer you. So just click on it. Watch the packages. Watch the formula and see if it's for you or not. You can yes. even give us a call everything is good okay yes. so you need to apply the tools that we share with you in this video the next video it was about one question that you received from one of your clients mm -hmm. is basically how long does it take for us to figure out if you guys interested yes that was one okay mm -hmm. yeah. so we will talk about it in the next video but what cool. i want you to do right now smash the like button smash the like leave button. a comment subscribe and make sure that you click on the link so you can watch what we do yeah because you said this is our passion Yes. This is what we do. This is what we love. <laughs> we don't know that, but we are recording this during a weekend because we just love, love what it. we do. It's yes. just so good, it right? It fills us up. Yeah. We, exactly. we love helping you. <laughs> it makes our day. <laughs> so we'll see you soon for our next video. Yes, we'll see you soon, ladies. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>